Dear Multnomah County GOP, Today, one billion rising Portland and Occupy Everywhere, Portland gather in the name of gender justice. And we rise against gender violence. We acknowledge the diverse ways individuals, regardless of their gender or sexual orientation, are negatively impacted by gendered violence. This is an issue that impacts us all. This letter comes to you on this third presidential debate night to proclaim our disgust and anger over the continued behaviors and language of their nominated Republican candidate, Donald Trump. We are also here to share our deep concern over the continued Republican Party support for a candidate who is not only unfit for presidential office, but who has made it clear through his words and actions that he is a sexual predator. We are fed up with the boys will be boys attitude, which continues to perpetuate and justify violence and rape culture. We are tired of the rich, powerful, and elite escaping justice due to their high level of resources and social capital. A party that stands for the people of the United States is one that denounces violations of human rights. Currently, the GOP platform is one of hypocrisy. It is a platform of patriarchy, intolerance, racism, violence, and is fundamentally, at its core, anti-human. We are here to inform you that the time for change is now. Right now, the U.S. presidential election has brought to light a very crass and real consciousness of misogyny, rape culture, gendered violence, racism, and intolerance among many Americans. This consciousness is nothing new, but with Donald Trump's rise to power, it paints a clearer picture of the struggles and realities facing the cause of gender equity and nonviolence. Trump's egregious comments and behaviors are a testament to his character and are a fundamental danger to democracy and people everywhere. Furthermore, the constant support for Donald Trump by the GOP, despite his comments and behavior, are a testament to the character of the Republican Party. Those who stand in allegiance with this consciousness, wittingly or unwittingly, seek to destroy the very principles of democracy. Our nation has reached a tipping point. No longer can we remain silent and support false unity of a nation when it clearly remains divided on such fundamental issues as gender and racial equality. No longer will we tolerate victim blaming, objectification, and raise words as usual. No longer will we accept an American flag-waving party who reasons waving party who holds family in one hand while the other hand is grabbing someone's pussy. Please don't misunderstand us. We are not here to simply stand against Donald Trump. No. Trump is a symbol of consciousness. He epitomizes white, patriarchal, colonial, colonial and I can't tell. He embodies a regression of human consciousness such as fear, violence, hate, egoism, toxic masculinity, intolerance, corruption, and ignorance. He represents a way of thinking, being, and doing, which stands in the way of fostering an informed nation of compassion and restorative justice. We are here to stand against this consciousness, a consciousness of sexism and violence. 
We demand accountability on behalf of the GOP and people everywhere. We want the GOP to publicly denounce Donald Trump's presidential candidacy. We are here also to declare that this revolution begins with the ballot. As it is an unlikely event that the GOP will resign Donald Trump, we, the people, must make our voices heard come November 8th, and we will. Come what may, after Election Day, we must continue to rise, disrupt, and connect. The struggle continues. Our challenge is not with single person, but with the consciousness of a nation. We must become exemplars of the change that we wish to see in this world, but we must also teach the change we wish to see. We must rise, educate, and transform. What billion rising first began in 2013 with a fierce struggle against sexual and physical violence, taking on the advocacy against rape, battery, incest, female genital mutilation, and sex trafficking. That V-Day campaigns over 18 years have been at the forefront of. Over the last four years, as one billion rising has grown and the local campaigns deepened, it has also brought in economic, economic violence and the violence of poverty. Violence caused by racial violence, gender violence, violence caused by corruption, occupation and aggression, violence caused by environmental disasters, climate change and environmental plunder, violence impacting women in the context of state-sponsored wars, militarization, and the worsening internal and international displacement of millions of people, and violence created by capitalist greed, among so many others. So much of the violence towards women and girls we are seeing today has its root deep-seated discrimination, exploitation, marginalization, and oppression in all structural forms, economic, political, social, sexual, cultural. The cry from global activists around the world, from the streets to the houses of Congress, from schools to theaters, from indigenous communities to factories, from social media to films, from urban poor communities to city squares, with people from all walks of life, is the demand to change and overhaul an unjust social system that not only allows but encourages physical, economic, social, mental, and emotional violence. And because deeply, so much of the violence towards women and girls we are seeing today has at its root deep-seated discrimination, exploitation, marginalization, and oppression in all structural forms, economic, political, social, sexual, cultural. The cry from global activists around the world, from the streets to the houses of Congress, from schools to theaters, from indigenous communities to factories, from social media to films, from urban poor communities to city squares with people from all walks of life, is the demand to change and overhaul an unjust social system that not only allows but encourages physical, economic, social, mental, and emotional violence. And because deeply entrenched mindsets and beliefs sustain the culture of violence and impunity, the need to radically shift the consciousness of people is what the world has been dancing and continues to dance in revolution for. Sincerely, Concerned Citizens of Portland.